Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today it's a tale of two gloves. Today's video is about how you treat your gloves, okay? About your own sort of hygiene, about how you are treating your gloves when you're in the gym and how you are treating your gloves when you're not at the gym. And also the effect that it has on the gloves, how long they last to how short they last in terms of how you've treated them. For the purpose of the story, we're gonna use Ippo and Brian. Ippo is gonna look after his stuff and Brian is not gonna look after his stuff. And we're gonna go through each of the elements and show you things that can make your gloves last longer. Okay, so if you're gonna spend a lot of money or even a little amount of money on your gloves, you need to get the maximum amount of time and length that they will use, be used before you have to get, get rid of them, before you have to change them. Let's start off with hands. Okay, so Ippo, Ippo washes his hands before he comes to the gym. Okay, this is, at the minute, everyone should be washing their hands with the current uh, COVID-19. But I, the amount of people that I see that come to the gym with dirty hands, but Ippo comes with clean hands and that means that when he puts his hand wraps on and puts them into his gloves that he is not going to be taking any germs or bacteria from his hands and putting them in the inside of the glove and onto the gloves lining. Brian, Brian has just come from work. He's been plastering all day, he's not washed his hands, he's got bacteria on his hands, he's got plaster on his hands, he's got dirt on his hands, and this type of guy I see sometimes in the gym, and he sometimes doesn't even use hand wraps. Straight away, gets his gloves, puts his dirty hands into the, into the gloves, and what that happens with that over time is the, the bacteria, the dirt, all gets inside the lining, starts to make the gloves smell, okay? And then you get people complaining, oh, these, these gloves stink. Well, there's a reason for that, because you haven't looked after them. Next thing, very important, and a piece of equipment that I have never reviewed on fit to box channel yet, but I'm gonna bring it in because if you're a boxer, you should have a pair of these. It's a pair of nail clippers. Okay, you would not believe the amount of people that come to the gym and their nails are too long. Okay, so if you're Ippo, you will have nail clippers, you will clip your nails once a week, keep them all nice and tidy, and what will happen is when you put them inside your gloves, you won't snag the inside of your gloves, you won't cause any little tears, uh, because your nails are short. Uh, to be honest, you should have them short anyway. Oh, I had a boxer at the gym who got a little bit too long of nails. He brushed his eye and actually he scuffed his eye and caused him an eye problem. So always, as a boxer, keep your nails short. Uh, when girls are concerned, obviously girls sometimes like to have longer nails. If you're a boxer and you're a girl, make sure you've got short nails. All right, otherwise you are going to damage your gloves. Normally the wear would be seen sort of at the end of the glove there because what's happening um, is the nails are too long and they're causing like a soaring effect on the inside of the lining. So of course, Brian, he doesn't uh, clip his nails enough. What he does, he's probably got dirty fingernails as well, uh, but his nails are too long and each time he puts his gloves on and he's doing round after round on the bags, what's happening inside, either in the, th in the thumb or in the fingertip area is that longer nails are causing like a soaring effect back and forth back and forth soaring effect until a little hole appears inside the lining and the little hole in the lining gets to a bigger hole before you know it you're working away and your finger is going through the hole and the inside of the glove is done for the outside of the gloves might still be fine but because you haven't kept your nails uh, tidy and short what's happened is you have damaged the inside of your gloves and then you might turn around and say oh yeah I had them gloves but the lining went well actually if the lining went because of your nails that's not the gloves fault let's move on to hand wraps okay so Ippo Ippo has a pair of hand wraps freshly washed he keeps them in his hold all and he's got them in a little bag a little bag like this so he keeps them together they're already from the last time that he's had them washed, he has uh, rolled them up so they are ready to be put onto his hands. They're clean, they're fresh and ready to go. Okay, and kept nice in his bag so he's not like rooting around his bag to find his hand wraps. 
he might, Ippo's probably got a couple of pairs and he cycles them, one for use and one that's being washed. That's a great thing to do with your hand wraps. Brian, he gets his hand wraps out, let's move these out of the way. Brian gets his hand wraps out of his bag. Uh, he hasn't washed them since the last time he wore them. They've been all sweaty, they've been in his hold all, they've just been like, just like that, they're all creased. They smell in a bit because it's been a while since he's actually washed them. Uh, and as a result, he's putting dirty hand wraps on his hands. And then once those hand wraps are on, he's putting them into the gloves. Again, you're spreading bacteria to the lining. You are damaging the lining of your gloves. Okay, You will shorten the life of the interior of your lining just because of wearing dirty hand wraps. Okay, So never wear dirty hand wraps. You've probably all sparred someday where you can smell the person's hand wraps through the gloves and it's horrible it's probably part of their defense to be fair but it is a horrible thing so what i'll say to you is always make sure you do what ipo does be ready for your boxing fresh nicely clean hand wraps put them in a little pouch loads of hand wraps comes in come in little pouches and have them ready to use all right it will take you longer to put your hand wraps up if they're all in a big ball and matted all together and you've just got them out your bag and they're still wet um, and dirty okay so be epo do not be brian when it comes to hand wraps okay now when it comes to long longevity of gloves i always say um that you should have two pairs now if you've got a pair to sparring okay you've got a pair of sparring these are like your best gloves you have them just for sparring you don't use them on the bags at all and then you have your bag gloves as well what that will do is it will increase the life of both gloves okay so you're not using the one pair of gloves for everything so epo would have two pairs of gloves one that he bashes away on the bags on and never uses for sparring and a pair that he always uses for sparring and never uses on the bags when it comes to brian what brian does is he uses the same gloves for everything okay so the padding of the glove is being beat up on the bags he's then using them in sparring which means after a certain amount of time the padding is actually unsafe for sparring but he still carries on anyway his sparring partner shouldn't be having to face somebody where the padding is gone in the knuckles but he uses them for everything so of course if you're going to use them for everything your gloves are going to go downhill quicker than if you've got two pairs of gloves uh, what Brian also does, he, he uses them for the bags, he uses them for sparring. Also, if he's doing a circuit, he uses them, he has them on his hand when he's doing press-ups. He's really not bothered about the gloves. And so, because he's using them, he's damaging the leather on the outside, he's getting scuffs, he's getting scratches. Um, he's really just not treating the gloves as they should be treated. When he's sparring, he's finished sparring, he's exhausted, and he gets the gloves and he throws them towards his, his bag. Okay, instead of sort of keeping hold of his gloves and putting them in his bag, he throws them, they hit the top of the bag, they fall on the gym floor. Again, there's little bits of dust on the floor of the gym. Um, it's also little scratches can happen, all wears away at the gloves. And then somebody comes along and they're trying to get to their bag and they step on his gloves to get to their own bag. They're not doing it on purpose, but these things happen. Again, you are damaging the gloves and you're not giving the gloves a fair chance in terms of durability because of the way that you're treating them okay now when it comes to the bags i would say uh epo what he would do in his hold all he'd have his gloves in a separate bag okay and that would mean that he's got his gloves in one part of his bag they're in a separate bag they're inside the hold all okay what brian would do is he'd just chuck them in the bag uh, some days he probably wouldn't even have them in the bag they'll be resting on the top of his bag he puts his bag down they fall to the floor the gym floor again okay so you see where i'm going with this it is all about the little things over time that means that you the difference between having gloves that are going to last a long time and gloves that are going to be shortened in length because of your way you're treating them and also obviously sort of hygiene and using clean stuff Okay, so in my opinion, my gloves never should uh, touch a gym floor, all right? They should always be put straight back into the bag and then straight into your bigger bag. Uh, and again, put your bag out of the way. Don't put it with everyone else's bag so it's going to get trod on. Okay, after the session, you've gone home, okay? Ippo, what Ippo would do is he will take his gloves 
out of his hold all, out of the little bag. He will air them, okay? Let the gloves dry out, let them breathe. He will spray them, spray them. So any sort of dirt and residue, any blood, any spit, any snot, anything like that, which we're in a boxing club, remember, will get rid of all of those germs. What Brian would do is he wouldn't, he would just put his bag in a corner and he wouldn't even open the bag. So the whole time that sweat, snot, blood, bacteria, everything is just getting worse because it's in the bag, it's not able to dry out, it's not being addressed in any way. Once, once you've done that, what I would always say is wipe your gloves off, air them out, wipe them off after use and then even if it's just once a month, get yourself, um, get yourself some you know, leather wipes, some leather cleaner, uh, there, is some, there is some specific, we need to do a specific maintenance kit. You know, once a month it would be nice just to do that with your gloves. Some people will do every single time, I understand that. Some people, once a month would be fine, but the people that don't never do it, they're the people whereby they're going to they're gonna see the gloves deteriorate faster and not have that longevity that you want. Okay, again, spray okay so spraying inside your gloves i would after you've aired them out i would spray inside your gloves with a deodorizer if i would do that every single time the gloves will start to smell fresh and then what what brian would do is he would never use that uh, the gloves have been kept in the bag they're in uh, they're in a terrible state already they're still sweaty from the session the next time he sees them is when he's in the gym again they're going to stink and over time they're going to stink more and more and more okay so we'll bring that round another thing that you can do is you can use things like this so once you've aired them out there is products out there where you can put them in glove inserts again helping to dry out the insides of the glove if you were epo you would have these that aids the smelling of the gloves as well as the spray because these can come scented as well. Again, you're making sure that they smell nice. If you're Brian, you don't even own any of these and you have never even thought about it. Okay, so as you can see, there is a big difference between how Epo treats his gloves and how Brian treats his gloves. And let me tell you, I have seen both in the gym. I've seen people that you can tell that they, they really look after their gloves, they cycle their gloves if they've got more than one pair, they wipe them down, they spray them off, and you can tell that they are gonna last a long time. Others, they spend a lot on gloves, and then the gloves get wrecked very, very quickly, start to look really bad, start to smell bad, the lining starts to go, and then they're like, oh, these gloves are no good. Well, in my opinion, you've got to take some responsibility in there for yourself because, you know, if, you, uh, if you've got gloves and you're not treating them right, then of course they're going to deteriorate quicker. I see gloves and they look like they've either been set on fire or they've been reversed over with a car. That's the state of some people's gloves and some people, when they get them out, their hand wraps and their gloves, and you, you're six foot away from them and you can smell them. I mean, that is disgusting. Okay, hopefully, post sort of COVID-19, people's cleanliness will have improved. Um, but you do see it, and you will see, have seen it in, in your gyms as well out there. Okay, so just wanted to say that, take a bit of care. If you're going to spend all this money on gloves, let's make sure that you get the maximum life out of them. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.